Hi there. Welcome to Banana World, young lady. Is there a relationship that really endures in Hollywood? Since it seems as though Tamar Braxton and Jeremy Robinson are authoritative, dun dun dun. Indeed, totally. I don't have any idea what's happening, yet I want to believe that she sorts out her circumstances and finds her life partner. The solution to that question will not be with Tamar in light of the fact that it seems as though Tamar got unloaded on the grounds that J. E.R. took to his Instagram story to report that he had chosen to cut off their friendship by composing such countless inquiries, such countless presumptions I need to answer all that I can with deference. Indeed, Tamar and I are not together at this point. I cut off the friendship to zero in on returning to positive energy and being a superior individual. What occurred and why? That is our confidential spot. No, I won't ever swindle. No, I wasn't there when she was at her mom's place when her vehicle was burglarized. J. R. Additionally demanded he never thought often about a claim regardless of showing up on the Peacock reality dating show, which he professed to have turned down a few times before finally collapsing. Indeed, we as a whole saw this coming, correct? At the end of the day, there are two or three hints. Tamar herself has been dropping, including an extremely late one where she discussed not having a solid sense of security with anybody. What happened was that Tamar took to online entertainment to uncover that she was the casualty of a break-in and observation film she posted from her apartment complex. Leaving obviously showed a group stripping her vehicle as the surveillance cameras rolled. In any case, not exactly the burglary grabbed the eye of individuals. It's what Tamar inscribed on her post. She composed, and I got ransacked at home. I'm undependable anywhere. I don't have any idea why I continue to get abused. I had a ton in my vehicle since I don't live anywhere. Since I'm undependable anywhere or with anybody. Young lady, what do you mean you don't live anywhere? Furthermore, when Tamar said that she didn't have a solid sense of security with anybody, did that mean even with Jeremy, considering that she's been locked in? The assertion was perplexing to many fans since, hypothetically, an individual in a caring relationship shouldn't feel dangerous and alone in that frame of mind of emergency. Yet presently, we realize that they were for sure separated. One more sign that the two were over was during an Instagram live meeting, where Tamar was talking about her visit and different things as fans sent their remarks, and she shared her news. Tamar wanted to share that she was separated from everyone else during the live meeting. Gracious. And there's no one here with me today, so there's no one letting me know what you know. Remind me what to share with those watching. It seemed like it appeared unexpectedly. Except if, obviously, she was attempting to convey that she was, as of now, not in that frame of mind with Jeremy. What's more, a look at Tamar's YouTube page likewise indicates that her relationship with Jeremy has been over for some time. So Tamar began a YouTube series, Days with Tay, and the main individual missing from the new series is her life partner. Indeed, X. In any case, can we just look at things objectively for a moment, folks? Does it truly shock you that Tamar and Jeremy are finished? Individuals have, in a real sense, been communicating their interests since Tamar and Jay. Ah, were first spotted together. What's more, something that has been said is that J. R. is somebody who, by the age of 16, had committed two crimes and arrived in the adolescent prison where he got his GED. All right, all right. You could contend that he turned his life around when he joined the Marine Corps subsequent to being delivered in 1995 and serving in Iraq, was even granted an airstrike flight decoration in the wake of enduring a projectile assault and is likewise a fruitful lawyer with his own firm. R is the dad of five kids with four distinct ladies. Furthermore, what's more is that two of these kids were brought into the world around the same time, yet from various ladies. This basically implies that he was lying down with the two ladies simultaneously and likely deceiving them. When it's all said and done, that by itself ought to have been a warning that he has some serious responsibility issues and young lady, young lady, young lady. The issues with his child's mom have been muddled. One of the ladies, Aniston Jenny,
basically implied that Tamar brought confusion and a pointless show into her child's life. This was after Tamar expressed that among her and Jeremy, there are six youngsters, and they mean the world to her. What's more, when Aniston applauded back with this lady, it was not the slightest bit a reward or stepmother to my child. My child doesn't mean the world to her, and she has not said thanks to God for me. Furthermore, honestly, none of his child moms have said belittling, ill-bred, and ludicrous things about how I have decided to co-parent with my child's dad and the endeavors I have made to keep him included. Discussing all the show, Jay, R. Was likewise blamed by one more for his child moms for having an interest in individuals of color to such an extent that he frequently alludes to himself as fair-looking white chocolate and frequently says that he is the minority inside the minority. I don't actually have the foggiest idea how to respond to that. The ex likewise said that she found Jeremy shockingly impolite, haughty, racially unfeeling, womanizing, and debasing, adding that he professes to be a partner of individuals and a defender of people of color, yet his activities say something else. As a matter of fact, she likewise points out their co-nurturing issues, saying he is extremely pretentious of parental worries and controls her girl by sending screen captures of their grown-up discussions in his family bunch. She additionally called J. R. a colonizing hunter who satisfies his fixation on biracial children to further feed his self-image and desire to be acknowledged among the African-American population. Another person really certified this story when she posted about J. R. being her support saying, I met her life partner off a dating application, and we got going from that point. He's a legal counselor around here in Atlanta, and he spends enormous sex, no doubt. His sort are youthful, lovely individuals of color. He began taking me on dates and sporadically giving me a stipend, sex, and a lease. This was also exceptionally late. So, I will say this proposition to Tamar appears to be exceptionally off-putting and not authentic. He's additionally getting uncovered by different ladies, which isn't to be expected of me by any stretch of the imagination. Under my suspicion, he is certainly utilizing Tamar to become renowned, and it's unmistakable. Tamar, you are in harm's way, ma'am. So Tamar has been more cautious about getting into that relationship. That would be a major yes. What's more, as much as J. R. demanded that he didn't cheat, the roads are talking, and what seems to be a homeboy has been an exceptionally hard worker. Indeed, we should likewise not fail to remember how Tamar has had the most inconvenient connections herself, and it very well may be her ways of behaving that got her unloaded. First of all, there was Vince Herbert. What's more, as we can all recall, that relationship ended with an exceptionally chaotic separation. While the separation wasn't excessively business as usual, Tamar fans later discovered that their marriage was loaded up with quite a lot more drama than what was clear in their unscripted television show, Tamar and Vince. As a matter of fact, in a meeting that occurred a month after Tamar sought legal separation, Evelyn Braxton, Tamar's mom, shared the stunning reality of what was truly happening in the background. In secret, everyone considered Vince to be a knight in sparkling reinforcement. However, away from plain view, that is a game changer. Concerning Tamar's next relationship with David Edifeso, that one was similarly muddled in this relationship when Tamar endeavored to end her own life, and it was David who viewed her as her. Tamar later shared in a meeting with Tamron Corridor that her family became troublesome as a result of her concerns at work. Our family turned out to be exceptionally hard, and it was hard in light of the fact that I was unsettled at my specific employment and was troubled for quite a long time. Yet, in an exceptionally unsuspected development, David blamed Tamar for DV. I won't ever, ever carry myself to a Tamar or someone I've spent so much time with. I won't ever do so. It's simply not something I will do. I'll talk about reality. Here is reality. I've been a survivor of homegrown, homegrown. I don't have the foggiest idea, folks. Perhaps a portion of these things occurred in Tamar. Past connections likewise began springing up in her relationship with Jay. We as a whole realize that Tamar likewise has a background marked by not being the least demanding individual to manage. Or on the other hand, perhaps Jay. 
R has quite recently been controlling and utilizing her, similar to what individuals have been saying since they originally were spotted together. In any case, guess what? Tell me your thought process. Was this a separation in the works? Were there just an excessive number of warnings in this relationship? Sound off in the remarks area beneath. What's more, remember to watch this next video.